This is a Thomas SPM 25 open linear bearing. It rides on a continuous supported shaft. That's why the bearing is open. Um, if you're watching this video and you have no idea what it is, then none of this will make sense to you. But if you know what this is, um, it rides on a continuous supported shaft. Unlike a closed bearing, which would ride on a shaft that's only supported on the two ends. So what I'm about to show you will work with either open or closed because it has nothing to do with whether it's opened or closed. This is a case where this bearing has uh, lost, it, the bearings popped out. And I will show you an easy repair uh, from just, uh, you know, five and six dollar fix from Amazon. Uh, this works on Thomas, uh, works on Ina, any um, comparable bearing. And seeing that these are $100 a piece, because they do support a lot of weight. This is taken off a weightlifting machine. Uh, but these ride weight along horizontal and vertical shafts and um, easy fix. So we'll go over that now. So sometimes by accident uh, or whatever, a mishap, these bearings can come out. You can see this one is missing at least one. See the gap between? And then it will not ride right on the rail. And these are quite expensive. This is a... a $100 bearing and I've got four of these that need repaired so if we look on this particular one with the micro uh, micrometer so these bearings that go with this are on the micrometer show 0.15 inches which I think it was five, which translates to just about 530 seconds. And you can order those off Amazon and you'll have to determine what size bearing would be right for your linear bearing. And we're gonna show you how this will pop right in. I'm going to put the ball bearing right on the corner here, right on the corner. And I'm going to take my little needle nose and pop it right in. And now we see that it is in there. And it's working perfectly. And we've got a bunch missing here, right on the end. So this one, it's kind of hard to see. But you can see this one this row is missing probably maybe three or four. I'm just going to start popping those in. So you can see this gap here where the, the bearing is here and then there's another one all the way up here ready to fall in. But I'm going to put that bearing right in the track. The bearing that I want to put in, I want to get it right in that corner where it makes the bend. Get that one out from there. So here's the empty corner. And I'm gonna put that bearing right in the corner. And I'm gonna push down. And it snaps right in. And we're gonna do another one. We're gonna put that bearing right in the corner and we're gonna snap it in. Let's stick one more in the corner here. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna stick, push that right in. Should, should push the other balls out of the way. It went right in. And now this whole track is, this whole track is filled. So it's got one little space between. And you can see these drop. And that whole track is filled now. Oh, that needs one. This one needs a ball. So I'm going to stick a ball in here. Let me repeat it again. I put that ball right on the corner. And there it is. I'm going to pop it in. Pops right in. And all the bearings are filled.
And that is how you fix a linear bearing. Now that's providing that the original balls just popped out and the housing was not damaged. They just pop right back in. And that'll save you $100 on each bearing. This for 100 of the 530 seconds was, what, $6.99? $6.99 on Amazon. All right, so hopefully I was able to save you some money. So here we can see the apparatus. I'm not even taking this linear bearing out of the housing of the machine. It's held in by uh, a roll pin. And I'm just going to leave it in there. And I'm going to pop these in and show you how easy it is. Now you can see this one missing a lot. And there's a lot of bearings missing out of this track. I'm going to place that right there in the track, right in the corner here, right in the bend, right there, right at the top of that bend. So we can see this big empty space here, big empty space, and then we get some bearings here. So this is the one I just placed in the corner. Let's see if I can do this while I film. There it is, it's inside. We're gonna fill up this whole track. I'm gonna do another one. Okay, it's in the corner. <laughs> Sorry about my finger, that's in the corner. It'll snap and it's inside now. Really cheap fix for any bearings, so it looks like we got one more. Mostly with uh, continuous supported shafts that the company has cheaped out on and not made the support all the way continuous and they'll use little segments along the shaft. And this one is done and it's all filled up.